everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction guys and of course do remember to subscribe, smash that like button guys if you are new and also remember to share because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring and if you want to contribute to the channel you can always contribute via the link description description via paypal and also join me on eight o'clock eight oh five on a monday night for your live session your live stream so you can send your super chat to help improve the quality content of this channel but guys yes 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 it is what it is it is ivory coast one algeria one ah <laughs> Ivory Coast are through to the next round, top of the group in their competition. Seven points, beating those scumbags, Algerian, getting our revenge that we needed for a very long time. Yes, Algeria, I haven't forgotten that you knocked us out in the previous African Cup of Nation, and Ivory Coast took revenge and dismantled the Algerians. Mares is going home. You're going back home to Manchester City to play Premier League football now. Arsenal, unfortunately, you cannot have Pepe. Manchester United, you cannot have Bailly at this moment. AC Milan, I'm sorry. Kessie will be here for a bit longer because we are not going home. And as I thought, a game where I was worried because you know Ivory Coast's history with North African teams in these type of situations. Ivory Coast always flop always struggle and do fail. This time, it was different. Ivory Coast done exactly what we wanted. Finally, the ball got the ball running. We're scoring goals. We're creating chances. Ivory Coast overall did exactly what more. And I'm so happy. Remember, guys, smash that like button. You Ivorians, if you're happy about the result, let me know exactly what you thought of today's game because it was fantastic. Yes, performance-wise, Ivory Coast did well with the ball today. At times, let's be real, because so many times we were suspect. But, of course, I personally thought Ivory Coast controlled the first half, controlled the game, attacked Algeria, and gave it to Algeria. We was all up in your face. You know what? We was there to steal your girls was there to break your hearts, make you cry today. And Ivory Coast made a lot of Algerians cry as soon as it was half time because Ivory Coast took the lead as early as possible. And Frank Kessie, Messi, magnifique, mais tu es trop, tu es trop, Messi. Frank Kessie opening the game, opening the goal as well with Nicolas Pepe himself, passing the ball to Kessie. Kessie with a good finish as well. The ball finally finding his way because I've been on to Kessie for a very long time, guys. And Kessie finally, he listened to me. He was like, my friend, Patrick, you get good, huh? I know what you said last time, but still, I heard you. Je comprends no. He scored the goal, making it 1-0. And then later on, Ivory Coast, at that moment, there, Seri took off his chain. The referee told Seri, he didn't take off his chain. It's, it's annoying me. It's blinding me. I can't ref in this situation. So, so Seri went off the pitch, you know, just to give his um, necklace. Why would my, well, I mean, sorry, while Ivory Coast himself was a man down, set piece. Ivory Coast don't really score these much set pieces these days. But Ivory Coast, Tangara, Brilliant header, making it 2 0, and we was all in promise. Like, we was all in heaven. Ivory Coast was going, Boo! the elephants were going, Boo! Boo! we was all going, Coupe de Calais, Duke Saga, Saga Cité. You get me when it was 2 0 up half time. We was in forensic, you know. Oh, I'm so happy, guys. I am so happy. Second half came. Ivory Coast came out stronger, ready to actually kill Algeria. You would think that, yes, let's defend the second half. But Ivory Coast in control of the game in the first 20 minutes. Pepe making it 3-0. Beautiful goal. Hala passing it to him. And Pepe finishing it, stopping it in, in the bottom left-hand corner. Algeria was so damn crying. They wanted to go. They were drinking their tears. They were drinking their tears. They felt it. They felt the salt in their mouth and they just fought. <laughs> ah, get out of Cameroon. You always say you're Arabs, in it? It's, it is what it is, isn't it? But yes, do apologize if you're offended. But yes, 
I'm a happy Ivorian. Of course, yeah. But yeah, again, Ivory Coast, after 3-0 up, they were acting sloppy defensively. I'm, I'm sure because of the manager made those changes that was needed. But Ivory Coast themselves, yeah, sloppy passing as well, not making the right passes to finish off Algeria to make it 4-0. Algeria missed a penalty, which wasn't a penalty. So yes, karma. Mares will be going home pissed off that he didn't get us a goal today. He didn't get that penalty. It was just it was, he hit the bar, and you deserve that. I'm so damn happy. God, I really smashed that light button if you thought that he didn't deserve that penalty. You know, Algeria eventually scored a goal. My oh my, it was gonna come anyway. It was gonna happen. But apart from that, Hala made it four one, but it was offside. But it just sealed the fate of Algeria and just showed how strong we are going forward as well. Ivory Coast got strength and depth. We're stacked. We are stacked like a pack of Pokemon cards out here. Get me? Get me? We out here picking Pikachu's and Charizard, you know, and Mew Mewtwo's and that. Gosh, we got them in our packs. Some of you guys don't have that, you know. You got Jigglypuff and them lot that make people sleep and all that kind of stuff, man. But yes, Ivory Coast full time free one. <sighs> Forensic nostalgia. Ivory Ivorians are celebrating right now, going into the next round, facing another North African team, which will be Egypt. Man of the match today for me, guys. I want to go for Frank Kessie because I thought Frank Kessie done so well, even though Seri covered a lot. But grass keeper as well did well. But Frank Kessie, because I've been giving it to him, he could have he scored a second goal that was also ruled offside as well. So, yeah, definitely him, man of the match. No donkey of the match. I was pleased with everyone. Everyone pulled their weight in and did what they had to do. But Ivory Coast fans, my Ivorians, Les Elephants, again, we need to beat Egypt to get a revenge from what they gave to us in the past, you know. The finals, Egypt, we're never going to forget about that, you know. So we have to beat Egypt and knock out Mo Salah so he can get back to Liverpool. But, well, yep, this has been your match reaction by Ivory Spice, guys. As always, remember to follow the socials above there. And, of course, also in the link description. Remember, if you want to contribute, send, it, send your contribution through PayPal. Links in the description. But it is what it is. My Manchester United fans, remember to subscribe. My Ivory fans, subscribe. It is it. Remember to keep it united. And there's elephant. Remember to keep it. You know what I mean. Elephants trunks and remember to keep it red united because i am out and i'm happy